Hello and welcome back to our channel, 10 Minutes Exploration. Today we are going to explore the fascinating mysteries of history, science, and culture. We're going to dive into one of the most enduring legends of all time, the lost city of Atlantis. Unraveling the mysteries of its real place and the reasons of its popularity. Atlantis is a mythical island that was said to be a powerful and advanced civilization that sank into the sea after a war with Athens. The story of Atlantis was first told by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, written around 360 BC Plato claimed that he heard the story from his ancestor Solon, who learned it from an Egyptian priest. According to Plato, Atlantis was located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which are usually identified as the Strait of Gibraltar, and existed about 9,000 years before his own time. Plato described Atlantis as a large island with a circular city at its center, surrounded by concentric rings of land and water. The island was rich in natural resources and had a splendid culture and government. However, Plato also said that the Atlanteans became corrupted by their wealth and power, and tried to conquer the rest of the world. They were defeated by the Athenians, who were favored by the gods, and soon after, Atlantis was destroyed by a great cataclysm that submerged it under the ocean. This question has fascinated scholars and adventurers for centuries, and has inspired countless theories and speculations about its possible location, nature, and fate. Some of these theories are. Atlantis was a mid-Atlantic continent that suddenly sunk into the ocean. This theory was popularized by Ignatius Donnelly, a 19th-century writer who argued that Atlantis was the source of all ancient civilizations and that its sinking caused the biblical flood. He based his theory on Plato's description of Atlantis as being in the Atlantic Ocean and on some geological evidence of continental drift. However, this theory has been largely rejected by modern science, which shows that there is no evidence of a sunken continent in the Atlantic and that continental drift occurs very slowly over millions of years. Atlantis was swallowed up by the Bermuda Triangle. This theory was proposed by Charles Berlitz, a 20th century writer who was fascinated by paranormal phenomena. He claimed that Atlantis was located near the Bahamas and that it fell victim to the mysterious forces of the Bermuda Triangle, a region of the Atlantic where some ships and planes have allegedly disappeared without explanation. He pointed to some underwater structures off the coast of Bimini that he believed were remnants of Atlantis. However, this theory has also been debunked by science, which shows that these structures are natural formations of beach rock and that there is no evidence of any unusual activity in the Bermuda Triangle. Atlantis was Antarctica. This theory is based on the work of Charles Hapgood, a 20th century historian who suggested that the Earth's crust shifts periodically, causing drastic changes in climate and geography. He argued that Atlantis was once a temperate continent in the South Pole that was home to an advanced civilization, but that it shifted to its current frozen location about 12,000 years ago due to a crustal displacement. He cited some ancient maps that seemed to show Antarctica without ice as evidence of his theory. However, this theory has also been challenged by science, which shows that Antarctica has been covered with ice for millions of years and that crustal displacement is not a valid mechanism for such a large-scale movement. Atlantis was inspired by a real historical event. This theory suggests that Plato based his story on an actual catastrophe that happened in ancient times, such as the eruption of Thera in the Aegean Sea or the destruction of the Minoan civilization on Crete. These events could have been exaggerated or distorted by oral tradition or artistic license over time, resulting in the legend of Atlantis. This theory is supported by some similarities between Plato's account and archaeological evidence from these sites. However, this theory also faces some difficulties in explaining how Plato got his information from such distant sources and why he changed some details so drastically. Despite the lack of conclusive evidence for its existence, Atlantis remains one of the most captivating myths in human history. There are several reasons why people are still drawn to this legend. It appeals to our sense of wonder and curiosity. Atlantis represents a lost world that is shrouded in mystery and mystery. 
It invites us to imagine what life was like in this ancient civilization and what secrets it might have held. It challenges our perception of reality and history. Atlantis poses the possibility that there was a civilization that was more advanced than ours, or that there are hidden forces or dimensions that we do not understand. It also questions the accuracy and completeness of our historical records and knowledge. It reflects our fears and hopes. Atlantis serves as a cautionary tale of how a civilization can fall due to its own hubris or external calamities. It also offers a vision of a utopian society that achieved harmony and prosperity. Atlantis is a fascinating legend that has inspired many works of art, literature, and entertainment. It is also a subject of ongoing research and debate among scholars and enthusiasts. Whether it was a real place or not, Atlantis will continue to captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the world. Thank you for watching Unraveling the Mysteries. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.